Don't want to look like a forgetful fool this Mother's Day? <laughs> Stick around until the end of this video for a special deal on the Mother's Day gift of the year, Aura Frames. At this point, Donald Trump is begging to be put in jail. He was found in contempt for a 10th charge of contempt against the court yesterday, where the judge explicitly said in the ruling that these monetary um, penalties are inconsequential, insignificant, not effective for Donald Trump. So the next step, if warranted, will be jail for Donald Trump because he is an arrogant freak who is not abiding by a lawful order to not put witnesses, the jury, and family members of the court, uh, members of the court in jeopardy. And he did it again this morning in this now deleted post at 7.30 a.m. Eastern where he said this, I have just recently been told who the witness is today. This is unprecedented. No time for lawyers to prepare. No judge has ever run a trial in such a biased and partisan way. He is crooked and highly conflicted. Even taking away my First Amendment rights, now he's threatening me with jail and they have no case. This, according to virtually all legal scholars and experts, why isn't the fake news media reporting his conflict? Well, it's because there is no conflict, and uh, virtually all legal scholars and experts do not agree. The shills that they have on Fox News certainly agree with Donald Trump. But let's talk about what took place yesterday outside of the court, where Donald Trump, acting as though, just please nail me to the cross, I am a martyr, he said it'd be, he'd be proud, ultimately, uh, I, any day I'll go to jail, any day. It's more important. Uh, the Constitution is more important than this. And I would, what's he say? I'll do that sacrifice any day, painting himself as a martyr while still skirting trouble. While right-wing media figures, including his daughter-in-law and Newt Gingrich, act as though... Uh, he's done nothing wrong, and how dare they threaten him with jail? Talking about the, the time, but with no concern for what the crime is. First, watch Donald Trump outside the courtroom, crawling up onto his cross for MAGA world to worship. And it's a disgrace. And then you have the other thing that maybe is even more disgraceful is the gag order, where I can't basically, I have to watch every word I tell you people. You ask me a question, a simple question, I'd like to give it, but I can't talk about it. Because this judge has given me a gag order and said you'll go to jail if you violate it. And frankly, you know what? Our Constitution is much more important than jail. It's not even close. I'll do that sacrifice any day. But what's happening here is a disgrace that the appellate courts ought to get involved. You'll do that sacrifice any day. Do it violate the gag order, or shut your mouth. How about that? You run your mouth, you flap your gums, nothing but talk, zero action on your part relative to these promises that jail doesn't bother you. The Constitution is far more important, much more important than these threats of jail for me violating a gag order where I endanger witnesses in your criminal case. Do it. Violate it. Fake martyr. Or again, shut your mouth. Your daughter-in-law certainly is not shutting her mouth. She was on the, the news yesterday, the news yesterday, and made veiled threats that the American people aren't going to stand for this. Oh, the people will not react very well, where she paints this dystopian, dark, shadowy America, if indeed Donald Trump is held accountable.
If they are able to do this to Donald J. Trump with the ability he has to have the, the best lawyers in the country, with the ability he has to speak out in the media, if they are able to silence him right now, if this judge actually goes forward and puts him in jail, think about the future for America. It is dark, it is bleak, and I don't think people will react very well to that, Sean. What I so if Donald Trump is held accountable for his crimes, if there are consequences for someone who has flagrantly and blatantly broken the law, it will be a bleak, dark future for America, a bleak, dark future uh, that Americans will not stand for. They, they won't react very well. This, of course, of course, is an obvious nod to violence. Setting MAGA world up for, get ready for it, get ready, just like they did before the election, saying that if we lose, the only way possible it will be fraud. And then when they did lose, they pulled the trigger and there was an insurrection against the country. We've seen this played out before. We know what the outcome will be. We need to stop giving Donald Trump and the cadre of fascists around him the benefit of the doubt because this is what their intent is. That's their get out of jail free card at, for the ultimate ploy is to try to create so much chaos that somehow the system just says, okay, just call it off. This is too much. That's not how it works though. You would think that some of these characters do know how it works, especially the former Speaker of the House of Representatives of the United States of America, Newt Gingrich, who was on Fox News last night whining about, uh, about Donald Trump being put in jail. He calls it prison. But putting Donald Trump in jail for his repeated 10 times now violations of the gag order, the legally imposed gag order by, a, by all accounts, by all metrics, a fair and serious, sober-minded judge in this case. Watch Newt Gingrich just make an asshole of himself. And so if you watch the judge in New York, the most important battlefield of this entire campaign is an appointed corrupt judge in New York who I believe is about to put Donald Trump in prison. And that's a very dangerous thing. It's dangerous to our constitution. By what right does an appointed local judge put somebody who is the nominee of their party, former president, in prison. But he's openly told us twice now, in two weeks, he, and that it's gonna happen. And I think it's very dangerous at the most basic of levels. Just ask yourself, what would it be like to be Trump in prison in New York? Again, they're always talking about the time, they're never addressing what the crime is. They're just gonna put him in jail as though he's done nothing wrong, and that violating a gag order, a lawful gag order, is just okay in the case, where you're leveling threats against the family of the judge who have nothing to do with the case, where you're leveling threats against witnesses in your criminal case, Michael Cohen, Stormy Daniels, others. Not okay. It's an imprisonable offense. And Donald Trump knows it. Otherwise, he would not have deleted this tweet sometime after 7.30 this morning. The next step, look, don't threaten to put Donald Trump in jail, Judge Merchan. Don't do it unless you're willing, ready to do it. We know you're able to do it. You have the power within you vested by the state of New York. Uh, do it. If Donald Trump violates again, he won't do it for this because, oh, well, he deleted it. Which I guess the question is, is Donald Trump so stupid that he just did this not knowing? I don't think that's the case. He's certainly stupid, but he knows what's at risk here. And the fact that he deleted it is evidence of his knowledge that it was wrong. What do you think uh, about this? Are you following this case? I'd love to know. You can talk about it in the comments below. You can call, leave me a voicemail, 714-576-4054. Email me daily at dollamore.com. Help me make these videos. You can become a channel member right here on YouTube by clicking the join button and see what's involved. You can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast 
Follow me on social media. That's where I reside when I'm not here, just perpetually in social media. <laughs> and uh, get a head start on Mother's Day. Stick around for this word from today's sponsor. While there are several important considerations as we move into spring, when to get the grill and the patio furniture back out and into warm weather order, what's the best tonic to pair with this fancy new gin that you found, the top concern of the list should be the mothers in your life. That's right, you don't want to look like an inconsiderate oaf on Mother's Day when you fail to grab even a handful of grocery store roses for mom or your wife, your aunt, etc. And didn't you uh, do those floppy flowers last year anyway? She doesn't want that. What's a thoughtful and easy gift for mothers in your life this Mother's Day? An Aura Frame. Aura Frames are beautiful Wi-Fi connected digital picture frames that allow you to share and display unlimited photos. The frames just take a couple of minutes to set up via the Aura app, and the displays are meticulously high resolution, so you'd never know you're looking at a screen unless you really get in close. Right now, Aura has a great deal for Mother's Day. Listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com to get $35 off, plus free shipping on their best-selling frame. That's A-U-R-A-Frames.com. Use code Dollamore at checkout to save. Aura frames display in true color and automatically adjust to light levels in the room so they'll turn off when you turn out the lights to save energy. And they have been featured in more than 130 gift guides as well as named the number one digital picture frame by the New York Times' Wire Cutter, which I very much trust, The Strategist and Wired Magazine. Oh, and the best part, each Aura Frame comes pre-packaged in a premium gift box, so they're already wrapped. Go in for the win this Mother's Day. Head to AuraFrames.com now to get $35 off their best-selling Carver Matte Frame, plus free shipping. That's A-U-R-A-Frames.com and use code Dollamore at checkout. Give yourself the Aura of Son or Husband of the Year with Aura Frames. Terms and conditions apply.